What up, what up, YouTube? I know you've already seen a bunch of beginner project ideas at this point, so I will not waste much of your time. What I have are three categories of projects, not just three projects, so it's a little bit different at least. The gem is at the end, so do stick around, yeah? Let's begin. The first category, building a home lab. It kinda has to be. I'm personally late to the game when it comes to building a home lab. I am building mine with VirtualBox, which is virtualization software. You can check out my home lab series to see how that's going. But there are a bunch of ways you could build your home lab. You could use the cloud, that is AWS, Azure, GCP, Linode, ETC. This would be beneficial for you as an individual because at the moment, cloud security and cloud computing in general is very in demand. Does that make sense? Very in demand. But yeah, it's in demand and it looks like it's only gonna get worse, which is a good thing. Anyways, build your home lab in the cloud. You can learn a lot, and there's potentially a lot of money to be made if you end up working in cloud security. You could follow Day if you wanna learn some cloud security stuff. Another way you could build your home lab would be using physical hardware in your house. This would be rather expensive, but very beneficial if you wanna do the type of work whereby you're handling cables, switches, routers, ETC, something like a network engineer. I think that's what they do, right? You could follow Jeff Gearling. He's one of my favorite YouTubers when it comes to home labbing, and he builds most of his stuff with Raspberry Pis, which aren't as expensive as other equipment. Moving on to the second category of projects, a Python project. Python is a very popular programming language, and there are a bunch of reasons why that is. Some of the things I recommend you build to show off your Python skills would be a reverse shell client and server, something like a netcat replacement or a replica. You could build a keylogger. Personally, my first keylogger was an utter failure now that I look back at it. Or you could build a network proxy, something that can be used in an internal environment whereby you cannot run tools like netcat or you'll be detected, but where you have Python available to you. Now, I understand that building out these projects by yourself when you are a beginner might not be the easiest thing to do. So let me plug you with some resources. The first one would be Python for Everyone, a free Python course that is highly recommended and sought after when it comes to learning Python. This would be a good start to learning Python in general, but it is not necessarily security focused. If you want to learn Python with a focus on security, I recommend you purchase the Python 101 and the Python 201 courses over at TCM Security. I mentioned that my first keylogger was somewhat of a flop, so I'm going to be using the Python 201 course to make a better Python keylogger which actually interacts with the Windows API. More on that in a future video. Links to these courses will be in the description below. And by the way, I am an affiliate of TCM Security. The last resource I recommend for learning Python with the security focus would be Black Hat Python. This is a great book. I'm currently going through it myself. Love it so much, but it does assume that you have some basic or at least some level of Python knowledge. So I recommend you go to the Python for Everybody course first. The link to that book will be in the description below as well. Okay, the last category of projects, the most important one in my opinion, networking. Not the computer TCP IP routing type networking, but engaging with the cybersecurity community, making friends and acquaintances. I believe this is the most important part when starting out in cybersecurity or in any field in general. You never know what opportunities can come about when engaging with people in real life or over the internet. So the project itself is making 1000 meaningful connections on LinkedIn. Take note, I said meaningful. I got this idea from Neil Bridges over at Cyber Insecurity, someone else you should be subscribed to. I'm still on my journey to making 1000 connections and I've met a ton of great people already. Some doors seem to be opening because of this and I feel like this is only the beginning. Before time, in the beginning, be, ne, beginning. I'd also like to throw this in while I'm at it. If you are thinking of starting a blog or a YouTube channel, do it now. Do it now. Right after you watch this video and subscribe and drop a like and maybe a comment. So apart from the technical stuff, don't neglect the human aspect of the industry because at the end of the day, technical skills can be taught. Culture cannot. I'm not too sure if that's an actual quote, my point still stands. So out of all the things I've talked about, tell me which one is the most appealing to you. If you end up starting a blog or a YouTube channel, let me know, I will follow and subscribe if you actually provide value. This is the end of the video. All the best in your journey. Peace.